Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Status Report highlight for the 28th of August, 2018. It's going to be a bit of a quick one today, and I'm a little bit late. And the team just got back from Gamescom, showing off DayZ playable on all three platforms, PC, Xbox, and PS4. There are some highlights. I'll show some clips of that on screen now. And the big news for today is, as of today, the publishing of this video, DayZ on Xbox, should be released. We'll go into more info on that in a little while. But let's start off with lead producer, Eugen. On the topic of PC experimental release, we have made some huge progress over the last week with the issues plaguing the stress test servers and are planning to increase the numbers available. We are also discussing the switch over to experimental after the last of the issues is fixed. The internal build and its development have seen a steady amount of features and content come in, and as of now, we are mostly focusing on base building and vehicles. How bloody time. The rest of the features are being reviewed and setting the priority on bug fixes for beta is in progress. We are well underway to stabilize DayZ as a whole, and Eugen is excited to see it get in a good shape in the coming months. Now let's move to brand manager Martin and the issues currently on the Xbox build for DayZ. Crashes of the game upon loading, the inventory behaving in all sorts of weird ways, items not getting picked up, players being unable to fill in all inventory slots, etc. General issues when interacting with items in your hand slot, especially fireplaces, guns and magazines. Status icons invisible on some screens due to the wrong UI scaling, cropping near the borders of the screen. Hits sometimes not being registered when firing a weapon. Now hopefully these are pretty priority issues to get fixed for the Xbox build, especially the hits not registering when firing a weapon. That's pretty important. With that being said, let's move on to a little bit of a Q&A for DayZ on Xbox. How much will DayZ cost on Xbox One? DayZ will be using a standard premium game model so no free-to-play or any in-game monetization during the Xbox Game Preview, and it will be available for $39.99 US dollars. You can check your local price when the product page becomes available on the Microsoft Store. The price of DayZ will increase with the release out of Game Preview. The final version of DayZ will be available for $49.99 US dollars across all platforms. At what time exactly will you release DayZ on the 29th, which is today, the uploading of this video, Daisy will unlock at 7pm Central Eastern Standard Time on August 29th. Is there going to be a trial version available? Yes, you will be able to enjoy one hour of free playtime that you can use if you're not sure about the purchase yet. The trial version will run on its own servers and will not have character persistence, meaning that your character progress will not save during your first hour and will not transfer into the full game preview. Hey, the trial's pretty good for those wanting to give Daisy a go without having to spend the money for an hour, get a good feel for Daisy within an hour. There are no vehicles yet, as it's running kind of parity with the 0.63 stress test of PC, so I guess when we get vehicles on PC, they'll be pretty much the same time or just after for the Xbox. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the Xbox or console builds are pretty much a transfer of the PC version. It just worked when they transferred it. Obviously some tweaks for the console necessities, but it works really well. I'm surprised it even run on a console, to be fair. And last up, senior producer Julian mentioned some modding for DayZ. At the moment, it is projected to be a PC-exclusive feature integrated via the Steam Workshop. It will work in a pretty similar way to how it does with Armor 3, which works pretty well. DayZ is a hybrid between the RV and the Infusion engines. While the packing and the asset creation are mostly unchanged and will go through the same process as for Armor 3, the rest, script, particles, animations, UI, etc., will be handled via the Workbench, which is a powerful all-in-one tool developed to handle everything Infusion-related. As for when modding will be available, we aim for a partial release together with beta, however, this is not set in stone. While the initial release of the tools is still unclear, server owners will be happy to know that the server files package should be made available to everyone during beta on PC at the latest. And that is all for this week's status report highlight. Of course, it's a highlight, so I took the most interesting important segments from the status report read it yourself in full for all the information that it holds do not forget to check out the community spotlight right at the bottom link in the description for all the good community content that's been created by you guys don't forget to hit that like button click my bell to get notified subscribe if you enjoy the content i create and i'll see you peeps next time